These are the focus for tonight. Flights cancelled for safety of passengers. Sarawak has potential to forge business partnership with Turkey Day. Value of cleanliness must be instilled in children. MS Frankfurt 2024 will elevate Sarawak's recognition as a business events destination. Cooperation between leaders and people facilitate development planning. Good evening. Malaysia Airlines and AirAsia have cancelled several flights for routes between Sarabah Sarawak and Kuala Lumpur International Airport, KLIA, following the eruption of Mount Ruang in Indonesia. According to Sarawak Minister for Tourism, Creative Industry and Performing Arts, Dato Sri Abdul Karim Rahman Hamza, the situation has caused an unexpected congestion at Kuching International Airport, KIA. I believe this one is just temporary. Uh, they have to to make sure that the flights are okay because the dust from any volcan volcano eruption uh, will definitely affect the, the flight, the planes actually when they are in the air. That's why for the safety of uh, passengers in those, in those flights, uh, I think that we have to take precaution. I believe it's so because I'm also uh, relying on the news on this because this is something which is unexpected. I was quite... He said this to reporters at a Ramatama Adifitri program held at the Panview Convention Centre in Kuching on Thursday. For the record, Malaysia Airlines cancelled 19 flights, whereas AirAsia cancelled 16 flights today. Sarawak has a huge potential to forge a partnership with Turkey in the business sector. Ambassador of the Republic of Turkey to Malaysia, Emir Salim Ruksel, expressed his great interest in the development of the state. In this regard, he led a delegation to pay a courtesy call on the Governor of Sarawak, Tun Pehin Sri Dr. Wan Junadi Tuanku Jafar, to discuss trade, economy and business contacts between the Turkish people and Sarawakians. So, um, today uh, I had the honour to, to have an audience with, with uh, Tun, uh, Governor of Sarawak, and, uh, and we discussed Lots of things, uh, different things about trade, economy, and the business, the, the contacts between the business people, uh, between Turkey and the Sarawak business people. And uh, today and tomorrow, I will have some contacts with the UNIMAS, with the university, and with the business organizations of, of Sarawak tomorrow mostly. So, um, what I'm trying to do is that I'm try, I, I try to. Uh, establish some contacts between uh, the, the the authorities of Sarawak and uh, of course the business uh, circles of Sarawak and of course our delegations uh, coming from Turkey. I think he said this when met by reporters after the courtesy call at the Astana Nagari Sarawak in Kuching on Thursday. The value of cleanliness must be instilled among children through early education. Sarawak Minister for Women. Early Childhood and Community Wellbeing Development, Dr. Sri Fatima Abdullah stated that the practice of osaji from Japan aims to educate children to practice cleanliness from an early age. At the same time, she said that it also instills the practice of taking responsibility for their own rubbish, thus helping to maintain the cleanliness of the places where they are cared for and educated. She added this practice also educates children to prioritize cleanliness in life, including disciplining them to respect nature, humans, and the environment in which they live in. Dr. Sri Fatima said this at the Patama Ferro Alloys Female Forum 3.0 held in Bintulu on Wednesday. She further emphasized that osoji is a form of long and continuous education until children become adults and fully practice managing their own waste without relying entirely on others. Sarawak Pavilion will make a strong return at IMAX Frankfurt, Germany from 14th to 16th May 2024. The prominent trade show presents a strong opportunity to attract international corporate meetings and incentives market by showcasing the state's culture, adventure, nature, food and festivals. 
Sarawak Minister for Tourism, Creative Industry and Performing Arts, Dato Sri Abdul Karim Rahman Hamza, said that IMAX Frankfurt can promote Sarawak as a business events destination and make the state recognisable and identifiable to the world. IMAX Frankfurt is an excellent trade show to promote Sarawak as a business event destination and make us recognisable and identifiable to the world. IMAX has the right audience of business event planners who are prioritising solutions for environmental, social and governance issues. Sarawak post-COVID-19 development strategy can contrib contribute to this mission. Hence, the PCDS 2030 will be one of the key talking points. He said this at the IMAX Frankfurt 2024 press conference in Kuching on Wednesday. In view of that, Dato Sri Abdul Karim called for the upgrading of airports in Sarawak, especially the ones that receive visitors from foreign countries. Cooperation between leaders and the people will facilitate the developments being implemented in each area. Sarawak Deputy Minister for Urban Planning, Land Administration and Environment, Dato Len Talif Saleh, said that all layers of leadership, including the people's representatives as well as community leaders and village chiefs, KMKK, must forge close ties with the grassroots. Hari inilah harapan kita dengan adanya kerjasama di antara pemimpin dan rakyat seperti yang telah dihuraikan oleh Yang Berhormat Yusuf tadi kita akan menjalankan tugas dengan lebih senang sebagai pemimpin kita mempunyai wawasan bagaimana kita dapat membangunkan kuasa ini untuk dimanfaatkan oleh rakyat setempat he said this at a Majlis Riang Ria Idol Fitri Bersama Pemimpin Program held at the Multipurpose Hall of Kampung Seberang Sarike on Tuesday. Meanwhile, Tanjung Manis Member of Parliament, Insinyur Yusuf Abdul Wahab, also echoed the same sentiment and expressed hopes that festive celebrations will continue to foster unity and harmony, especially among Sarawakians. And that's the English edition with me, Justin Goh. More news can be found in our official portal, ukas.sarawak.gov.my, and social media platforms including Facebook and YouTube. Let us conclude the bulletin with a preview of the upcoming 21st Malaysia Games, which will be held in Sarawak later this year. Hashtag Sarawak Informasi Rakyat. Have a good night.